Greetings. So it's 11 days until the book launch. So yesterday was an exciting day because the book did arrive. So it was kind of cool to get it. So thanks for your likes and loves of that book. And thanks for following the pre-order link and placing your order. But I want to read another section of the book to you today. And I decided to read the concluding paragraphs of the introduction because it talks about kind of my hopes for the books. So here goes. My hopes for this book are perhaps best captured by the greeting one hears most often while walking the way of St. James. Other peregrinos, people in, in the cities and towns along the route, and those serving in the albergues and small roadside stands offering fruit and water to pilgrims, and almost every other person you come in contact will typically offer the salutation Boin Camino. The greeting simply means something like have a good journey or maybe even happy trails. But over the course of the pilgrimage, this simple phrase comes to take on a much larger sense. As one considers the many layers of meaning captured in the idea of this unique journey, Boin Camino acquires a deeper, richer connotation than simply saying hi or have a nice day. It becomes a wish for every good thing, for a refreshed, clarified vision of one's life, for a broadened appreciation of this extraordinary world and our place in it. And perhaps most important of all, speaking and hearing Boin Camino reminds us that we are all fellow travelers pilgrims who have come from many places but are all trying to reach a common destination. This means we need to help each other. During today's walk, your feet may hurt or your legs may cramp, but I will walk beside you to encourage and help as best as I can. Tomorrow, I may become thirsty and sunstruck, but you will give me a drink and help me find a shaded place to sit while I recover. That commitment to mutual caring is at the heart of Boin Camino. It invokes the most precious good we can do for each other as human beings to notice, to attend, and to help. This book is about learning how to embody the deepest meaning of Boin Camino in all of life's circumstances. So as you read, I hope that the story of my pilgrimage on the Camino de Santiago will lead you to reflect on your own journey, your Camino. You may never walk through Spain toward the Cathedral de, Ca de Santiago de Compostela, but you are a peregrino, a pilgrim all the same. I hope some of the thoughts and impressions I share can benefit you in ways both tangible and intangible. I hope I can help you learn to be careful in the places where the path becomes harder to see so that you don't waste time walking in the wrong direction. I hope I can encourage you to raise your eyes from the road beneath your feet now and then so you can notice the amazing sights along the way. And as you walk, you can take comfort in remembering that the Camino will give you what you need. Boing Camino. So there's a saying on the Camino that the Camino gives you what you need, not necessarily what you want. And I know a lot of people uh, that I met walked. I think they had certain desires. Um, and it is so true that I didn't really necessarily know what I, what I needed, but the Camino did touch my heart in a very deep way. Now, as a person of faith, and I believe in God, I believe it was God kind of, again, answering those thoughts, giving me insights. But whatever your faith is, it doesn't matter. There's just something about that's, that's very spiritual, that's very powerful about the Camino. And so I hope this book gives you the gives you that feeling of what I got from it and like I said like I concluded there I hope it touches your heart in a way that that broadens your perspective on life and may we all 
do good for each other. So buen camino and enjoy the book.